Hey guys, in this quick video, I'm basically going to show you how to actually have aspect ratio being maintained on your images and let's say cards or any other um, design component. So a lot of the times, like currently, obviously the aspect ratio is not being maintained. Imagine we have a container like this. If I resize it, as you can see, the aspect ratio is not being maintained. The height and the width of the, the height remains consistent. Obviously the width is changing because this is an auto layout. So at the very least that's fine. But how do we go about maintaining aspect ratios in our design system or in our components? How do we go ahead and do that? Well, there are different ways of doing it. One way that I would recommend you to use is, first of all, going to the community, searching for aspect ratio. There are various plugins as well, but I would recommend downloading this file, auto layout fixed aspect ratio. Once you have downloaded it or duplicated it, there are a bunch of components for these aspect ratio elements. So I'm just going to go ahead and use them. So here we have the components and I'm just going to copy them. You can obviously paste them in your design system file or so you, and then publish them. But since I have them here, I don't necessarily have to publish them. So now I'm going to go here to my main component and I'm just going to paste it here. Now, as you can see, if I resize it, the ratio is being maintained. And since this card actually sits within an auto layout, I can just go ahead and fill container and once i fill the container it obviously automatically takes up the width and automatically adjusts adjusts the height now i have different options i can make it portrait i can make it landscape i can give it different types of uh, <clears throat> aspect ratios so from the top it's going to be more square and as we keep on going to the bottom it's going to be more uh, <clears throat> landscape so now that I have this, I can basically just go on this. I can copy the image and I can just paste it here and I can do the same here and then here and then here. And now we can just go ahead and remove the initial image that we have. And these are now maintained with the aspect ratio. It's that simple. Now, if you resize it, as you can see, the aspect ratio of the image is maintained. Similarly, if I was to go about and let's say duplicate this card, as you can see, the aspect ratio is easily maintained. I can just have a single card. The aspect ratio would be maintained. I don't have to go ahead and manually resize the image or do anything, especially if I'm using it in a grid, in an auto layout. It's much easier to go ahead and then customize and use your cards much more fluidly and much more easily. Obviously, if you did not have this, you would manually have to go and then resize it uh, by yourself, which would be a huge pain. So. Hopefully this video helps you again to use these at different types of aspect ratios. If we go to our main component, as you can see, I can just go ahead and increase or decrease the aspect ratio and that's going to be applied on all of the instances. I don't have to create multiple instances for different types of cards, especially. And yeah, it's just that easy. So that's going to be pretty much it for this video. It was a short one. Do subscribe, hit the bell icon and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.